Hi everybody. I just wanted to make a video on this because I really didn't see a lot on YouTube about this particular brand of tent. I only really saw videos from themselves and a couple other people. So this is our most recent recent purchase. This is a Cyclone Tents 16 foot 5 meter bill tent and it's canvas. We've owned a bunch of different tents throughout our years together and well this is our first canvas tent we've had nylons so uh, this one here is a little bit over $860 at this point in time. Uh, that's because it's got the extra windows. There's 10 total, not including the doorway, which has a screen on both sides. And yeah, it weighs a little bit over 86 pounds altogether. And it's, like I said, 16 feet or 5 meter bell tent. This doorway is 5.5 feet tall. So I gotta scrunch down a little bit to get in because I'm 6 foot 2. But. This is the inside of it. Technically it's 15 feet if you grab your tape measure from wall to wall. That center pole is a little bit over nine and a half feet tall. And it's about seven and a half feet from the center pole to each wall. So, and these are your extra windows. I think the standard version has four and it has a stove jack available. Um, this one here, no stove jack, but we're gonna add it later. And it has the hooks all the way around on each seam so we're going to use that to hang up some lights or whatever we really want um, they sell a model with the detachable floor i'm guessing that's to hold that up so and these windows all have screens on them there's no toggle to hold them in place it's just a piece of strap but that works pretty good and this flooring is a very heavy PVC flooring. I'm not sure the thickness on it exactly, but it's about the equivalent of putting like two or three tarps down. And up top, the top of the center pole, which this is actually held together with cable inside instead of like your standard elastic like most of your pop-up tents are. And this is a pretty stout steel. And these hooks up here for hanging anything you want to. And they're... I'm not sure how high they are, but I gotta stretch a little to reach them. You got your four vents up top, and those aren't closable, but they do have a screen on them. And that's just to let some air out. This A frame here it has some tie outs to hold the tent together. I didn't tie them. This is our first setup, so just kind of unboxing and weathering it in. It's got your loops, these are supposed to go around the pole to kind of hold things together. And it's got this pocket to catch your bottom and tie it down. So that's the inside of it. Uh, first setup took me about 40 minutes, but that was just, it was a little bit toasty yesterday. So, and it was a little bit of a struggle. Like I said, it's kind of heavy. So the biggest struggle was getting that center pole up. But once I figured it out, it was pretty easy. One person can do it, no problem. So. But yeah, this is the inside, and then yeah, here's your zippers. They're not YKK, but they're still pretty stout zippers. And the doorway opens all the way, and there's some toggles. I have this one kind of rolled out to hold everything back. And you can do the screen as well. It has toggles to tie back as well. But it's a pretty wide doorway. You can have no problem getting an air mattress in here, if that's what you use. And these guy lines, they have a steel pole to them. It's first time with one of those on a tent. I usually had the plastic ones because, you know, the Gander Mountain Specials. And that's the seal that kind of keeps rain out of this here. This is your A-frame. Got like a grommet there. Put that over top to keep the rain out. And another feature I didn't know about and I wasn't really paying attention when I bought it, it has the loop all the way up there at the top. So you can actually suspend this thing from the center with a rope if you wanted to and stretch out from there. So, but there's your guidelines all the way around. There's a whole bunch of them, a lot of stakes. The only problem I've had so far with this thing is we broke a stake right out of the box. I think it was just a manufacturer error. It snapped just pushing it into the soft dirt. So right now we're about 60 degrees in Illinois and a lot of rain, so everything's nice and soft. But yeah, there's it all set up. And the windows, you get a nice ventilation down low. You see right on through. Right on through. 
<laughs> but yeah, I'm sure going forwards I'll be able to set it up a lot faster. Like I said, it was about eh, 40 minutes or so to get it up the first time. And that's just not really reading any directions, just watching their videos on YouTube on how to set it up. I just want to put a video out there for anybody looking for one of these. This is the equivalent from all the American-made companies are about double <laughs> for a 16-foot. So, and this one, yeah, was just over $860. All said and done, and they're made in Australia. I didn't really want to do the Chinese ones that I've seen on some websites, like the King Camp and whatnot, because those were 400 or $500 or so, and I'd rather pay a little bit more for something that might be a little bit better quality. Not sure yet, but we're going to take it camping here and get this thing all weathered in and probably do a couple more review videos coming up or at least see how everything goes and let you guys know. And hopefully if you're searching for a bell tent, this will help you out a little bit. Thanks for watching.